Hello, everyone. It's a great Thursday, and I just wanted to take the time out to start recording um, some of these trainings that we're going through so that you can have them for your reference later. Today, I will be going over how to promote your um, trip or some type of travel deal that you find using our vendors um, on your own and also pairing it with a flyer from Canva. So in today's um, video, what we're going to use is a Canva flyer that I have a template that's already created. So I'm just going to kind of show you how you could use this template to um, or any other template that you find in Canva to your liking to try to help um, promote something um, of a travel deal that you may find. Um, what we'll be using today is travel, uh, jo not travel joy, sorry, Canva and um, Vacation Express. They do offer plenty of travel deals in Vacation Express. Um, some of you guys have stated that like, hey, I don't understand the deals. So we're going to go through the deals and then we're also going to kind of pick out what we need from the deal in order to create a flyer um, that makes sense for you, your branding and um, your ability to market yourself. So let's dive in. So today, when we're looking at the Vacation Express agent page, you'll see this area here where it says Riviera Maya Exclusive. These are some of the travel deals that Vacation Express is pushing out to us as agents. Um, these are good places to start, but if you really want to hone down and um, speak to the market of where you live. So if you live in Maryland versus Texas versus California, they have a great um, section called deals over here to the top right of this bar. You can go to any of these major cities that you may live in um, and see what deals are in that area. So let's try out Baltimore for today. When um, we are looking at the Baltimore travel deals, you can see some that are also going to be um, highlighted here at the top. You'll see Baltimore deals, the best deals from Baltimore, say, to Cancun or Baltimore to Jamaica or Baltimore July sale. These are all going to be last minute deals, best deals, exclusive offer, things that all have to pertain from vacations from Baltimore, but so um, they are also listed at the bottom. Now, before we go through this list of what they have here, keep in mind that usually the ones on this list may be your entry level or budget travel deals. Um, so keep that in mind, not saying that they're a bad thing. Sometimes I have seen some really nice resorts here as well. Like Dreams is by the AMR collection, but the Dreams Punta Cana Resort is one of their older properties. Um, this is just something that I know offhand by doing this for a while, but you'll get the hang of things the more you kind of hone in on the resorts or branding that you like to use. There's also a Secrets here in Cozumel. We see the Ryu Palace um, and the Sunset at the Palms in Jamaica. This is more like a holistic um, treehouse vibe um, property in Jamaica that's pretty nice if you have anyone looking to do like a yoga or wellness retreat. Um, I would suggest that. And then you have the Ryu Palace, Paradise Island in Nassau. There's a Sea Breeze in Barbados. As you can see here, it's going for 226, starting off at 226 per night. When we look at this um, price point, that is the starting point we know for price because it's an asterisk behind the price point. This is also telling you if you travel between um, 9-1 and 10-31, it's starting off at that rate. But if you travel between now and the end of August, it's going for a little bit more at 249. I'm going to scroll up a little and I'm going to use the Ryu Palace Costa Mejeres as our example for today. Um, Cause this ah, Ryu Palace brands are the top of the line brands within um, 
the Ryu resort chain. So if you stay at the palace and there is a few other resorts by Ryu in the area, you can kind of cross in between the uh, multiple properties. So that's one of the added benefits when you stay at a palace by Ryu versus a standard Ryu resort, but also new to travelers, like someone who's never traveled before and they're just trying to experience um, a different country and beach atmosphere. Um, some people have, you know, had other friends or family who went to Ryu and so they kind of request um, Ryu Palace Resorts or Ryu Resorts in general. So we'll use that for today's example. Right now, um, I'm going to click on the Ryu Palace hyperlink that Vacation Express has. This is going to open up an information sheet that's going to give us more insight as to um, what the property offers and their highlights. It says five pools, five bars, it's beachfront, um, it has six restaurants. It does tell you the perks. Um, let's see here. Okay, so those are pretty standard. Um, what we will do is go back to our flyer. We know that we want to have some really great graphics. So maybe we can say, Ryu Palace uh, sale. And I'll take off the golf tournament and let's spread this out a little. So wrong one. So we just want to edit. As you can see, um, this is all fairly easy to come in and edit. It's just a matter of double clicking on the box whether it's a shape or words, just double click it and start typing um, when it comes to the words. We're going to change this Labor Day weekend and we are going to look, we know that it's going to be August 1st through um, September 30th has the best rates. So we will put, you know, for travel August through September. Um, Travel dates. Uh, let's come up here and say August through September 2022. Travel dates and separate that a little. And let's kind of minimize it so that we can have the space that we kind of need. Um, then we have these four great um, picture circles. If you ever want to create your own circle or graphic in Canva, when you go to elements, usually the graphics for frames, it's right here. You can see other frame shapes. If you double click on it, it will enter it into your project. So um, we are going to work with this circle frame right here. That is what you're seeing here. So we gonna, we're going to get four photos that are going to help us highlight this Ryu Palace um, Costa Mujeres. Actually, I want to take this and let's switch it up a bit. Uh, and say Costa Mujeres, take off that. Why do I have RIP? I am so sorry, guys. Ryu, here we go. Um, I am also going to do this. I would like to... The photos on... Um, that we have here on um, Vacation Express are good. However, when we try to use them, they are going to kind of remain small. Um, We'll use this one for example. So if I copy this image and I come back to our document and I just drop it, we can probably drop that there. So you don't have to go far for photos. If you would like to use the ones within the info sheet, um, you could also go to Google and I would use the images listed here on Google. Some of them just have a different view. Um, I kind of like this view a little better than the one that we have 
inside of Vacation Express. Um, this pool view may be pretty um, nice to show, but I also kind of love a good swim up bar. So I think I'm gonna go with the swim up bar picture and maybe I'll put that to the side. Let's see what other pictures. Oh, look, they had swim up bar. Um, we could try see some of these photos that they have here. We could try. Oh, this is a nice bar. Let's try that. Put that over there. And then let's see what they may have here. This is the same photo that they have um, in Vacation Express. But as you can see, this curtain back here is closed. So I usually like to go for photos that will show an ocean view of some sort um, just because people are looking for that. Um, or you can go for something that has a larger suite view room because um, when you're on vacation, some people like to have space. So this also may be a good photo that we could grab because our flyer is speaking not to a particular room, but to the property itself. Um, so what we'll do here under registration is open now, we'll say travel dates. I'm gonna make it capitalized. Travel dates. And here we'll put September 22 through August 22. And let's go back to our Ryu deal to see. This is saying per night. So with the per night, it could be three nights, it could be four nights, it could be seven nights. Um, what we will do is we will price this out as a three night package so that we can give some type of um, context to the rate. Um, in here, coming back, we're gonna look at the inclusions. We know that this is an all-inclusive resort, so I've noted meals, drinks, and alcohol. Um, it does have tram airport transportation with um, Vacation Express. The hotel accommodations is kind of like the same as an all-inclusive resort. Swag bags, taxes, this is all something that I'm using for a different um, package. So I'm going to kind of mix and match here and take out some of these here. And delete, delete that all together. Um, so we will do inclusions and I'll say inclusions and we will take off that piece and make it old and underline. Oh. Inclusions. Here we go. For the, so now for these um, travel dates, what we can do on this left side is give some examples of four night options. And what I'll do is I'll come over here to the duplicate icon that's located in the top right um, area of our window. I'm going to duplicate this entire box. If you can see this purple line here, um, the purple dotted line, not the heavier purple box rectangle around the, the text box, but the dotted purple line. That is letting me know that I'm in a line um, with the text and as well as the page. I'm straight down the middle and in the center of the page, which is great. So that is a great place to align that, but I'm going to push this one over a little bit because um, what we're going to do is say, suggested suggested dates right here and what we'll do is we'll do our due diligence and we will find some dates uh let's see this is also okay out of line so here we go um 
when we come here and we are gonna look at the hotel only, the Rio Costa Mujeres is not adults only, but we're gonna do, uh, yes, this one is not adults only, I believe. Let me just double check. No, it's not adults only, great. So we will um, look at Cancun and we'll take, let's say, um, four nights starting Thursday through Monday for two adults. And let's see what the price range is. Of course, in many um, situations, a three night vacation may be less than a four nights, but we want to give people the opportunity to get in that long weekend. Um, even though a long weekend would be like four days and three nights, if we can give them four nights at a decent rate, um, people would normally like that. So let's come down to uh, the Ryu Palace is not here for that time. Let me make sure I am. Where is Cancun? No, nope, not Cancun. Let's check it out here. The other thing that we're gonna um, wanna highlight in our flyer while that's pulling up is that we have it right here where it says packages starting at um, $8.29 per person. Maybe a good thing to do would be to say above that is, let's say, four night package. So that people can see that, hey, like for four nights, you can start off, you know, with the rate of X amount of dollars. So let's see if we have the Ryu here. Uh, no, I wonder if they're sold out. Or if they have changed it to the four star and below. Let's, let's try that. Vacation Express will kind of break up their um, hotels within the Cancun and Mexico area because Mexico is huge. Um, most of the resorts in terms of all inclusives, you're going to find them in Mexico. Um, I am a big believer that you can go to Mexico four different times and have four different experiences. So I try to tell my clients, do not discount Mexico for sure. Um Wow, we are really, maybe it's sold out that weekend. I'm gonna try one more thing before I switch out our dates, just because um, we are going to use this particular resort as an example. Okay. So I'm going to let that load up. Also, when you're doing your um, flyer, we want to make sure that you're leaving um, a way for your clients to contact you. Or if someone is sharing your flyer and telling other people that there is a way to contact you. Um, so definitely, we can always add our website here. I'm going to add a little bit more spacing in between the well, letter spacing in between the Travelholics website so that it kind of takes up a bit more of the area here. Um, and then, of course, let me change that. But this is a good way to kind of add your contact information here, or you could always minimize this and if you minimize this and try this option, you will need the Canva Pro. Everything that I'm showing you now is available in the Canva um, free edition, so you do not have to pay anything additional to, to create this, um, except for if you do want a QR code, um, I'm gonna show you where you could take, um, how to use a QR code if you have the paid version. 
uh, um, in Canva, but for the sake of time and an example of how you can have it set up, I am just going to grab a QR code that I have used before. Um, as an example, you could take this QR code and you can minimize it somewhere down here or kind of bring your contact information in the center. And this would give you the option to let people kind of scan your QR code. So let's go back to Vacation Express and see if the Ryu is here. No, hmm. the Ryu must be really sold out. So, um, okay. Um, if this happens to you, obviously we would need to go back to the drawing board and um, choose a different, just for July, um, a different set of dates. So I'm just going to see if I can pick out different dates and see if the Ryu would come up there. See, um, if not, I will use another pricing um, example as to where you could use the pricing. Um, let's see, where's the Ryu? Okay, well, oh, here it is, Ryu Costa Mujeres. As we can see, starting out is six twenty nine for the weekend. So this is a good price point for four nights. Someone could come here and stay. Um, so we're going to use this as an example. Now you could play with dates to see which set of dates is going to be the best fitting um, or the lowest price point. But I think that $7.29 um, is pretty low for four nights per person if you're doing two in a room. It's essentially, you know, $14.60 um, for two people before adding their flights. The other thing that you wanna consider in this price is um, if you are doing an auto pay system or um, it's going to, credit card processing is going to have a fee between three to 6%, depending if you are using some type of payment platform. Um, so what we'll do is go back to this area of suggested dates, and we know that this suggested date is for, where do we choose? August 15th through the 19th. So I would say here. So maybe we should do some dates in June, July, and August. Here we'll put the 16th through the 19th. And now let's go back. We will do some July. Day. Oh, that was July. Okay, now we're back at July 9th through the 13th. Let's try that. And on our flyer, we will put July 9th through the 13th that was available um and then we'll try to pick a weekend something close by or it is a last minute uh, travel deal if it is close by so let's see ryu it's not available that weekend because it's as you can see the ryu is not showing up so let's try for the 22nd through the 26th. Now, of course, when we're using these suggested dates, you don't have to suggest any dates. Um, you could also, if there's a holiday weekend or something um, coming up, you could suggest maybe the second through the sixth or something like that. If you want someone to travel over the holiday weekend for June, um, we are in the month of June. So I would say choose something at the end of June um, just to give people an idea. Let's see, yet again, there's nothing there. Um, but 
if some, let's say we were last month and someone wanted to travel for Father's Day weekend, Father's Day weekend this year is on Sunday the 18th, we could use that um, as a weekend. So the 17th of a, as Friday, I mean, sorry, the 16th, Thursday through Monday the 20th. Monday the 20th would be um, a holiday weekend. You could choose, you know, 4th of July weekend, August, or what have you. But essentially, this is how your flyer would come up. If you are looking to just kind of download this and add it to Facebook, you would come to share and do the download um, application. Make sure that this is under PNG. The PNG pixelation is a lot better um, than the JPEG pixelation. So we would want to download it as a PNG file and then just click download. And there we go. It's all done. Um, the other thing that I would like to show you is that if you have the free or the paid service, um, there are plenty of free flyer um, templates that we have in Canva. So if you come up here to the search bar and you say travel flyer, for example, you will see lots of different um, options in these different travel flyers. If it doesn't have a crown, I'm trying to see an example of, okay, so like this gold crown means that you have to have the pro version in order to use that format. But the rest of these without the crown are available to everyone with, you know, the free account. So these are different flyers um, and you can even say that you want an Instagram post or a Facebook post and it will show you travel flyers within that size. So um, this is loading. And here are some other flyers. So you could use any of these templates, change them around um, the way that you need to. Also in good practice, it would be great of course, that you are using the Travelholics logo and branding because you are a part of the um, Travelholics agency. Um, on this particular flyer, I did just use the Travelholics website. Um, you can add a logo. I'm going to go to my uploads, have it saved. Um, I have a colored logo that you could use that, you know, is transparent in the background. Oh, did not mean to drop that there, but let's resize this. If it was, you know, say clear or something back here, or if you wanted to use it further down or down here, you could add it there. Um, we do have the white, all white logo. Let me delete this. Bring this one down a bit. You can add that in your corner um, somewhere on your document. Um, make sure that you're branding yourself, branding your name, um, your contact information, um, the Travelholics contact information. Um, the other thing that you could do, and I will um, say, for example, you want to use the QR code feature if you have the paid version of Canva. Um, you can use the QR code version to link back to your client um, questionnaire form in TravelJoy. Um, you would go to the form, grab that QR, I mean, grab that URL. So I'm gonna just use this um, URL as an example. When you click on the QR code, you would just drop that in here and it will generate you a QR code. And if someone scans it, it will send them directly to your TravelJoy account, which is great because it allows you to capture your leads, ask your um, qualifying questions and all those good things. And 
um, it's just something great. So this is the end of today's um, tutorial. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to give me a call, message me, um, contact me um, in the form that you feel is best. And happy selling.